Today we're going to create this procedural brick texture. Here we just scaling the default cube. Then we change to random mode by pressing Z on the keyboard here. Then we go to the world tab, world panel, choose environment texture and here we open an HDR image. You can find it under polyhaven.com. Here in the render tab we go to film and check transparent and also we check ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. Next we are going to duplicate the default point light and then we duplicate once again, change it to a sun, we reduce the power to 10, then we change it to sun. Reset the rotation by pressing Alt R and then on the X rotation we type in 70. We split the screen, then we go to shader editor, we click on the cube, we name our material brick, then we press shift A, search for brick, brick texture, we select it, then we connect both of them with F. As we can see we still the UVs are not correctly, so we need to have a, to add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node by pressing Ctrl T. This only works when you have installed a node wrangler. You can access by activating it on edit preferences. And here we're just connecting the UV to the vector of the mapping. In edit mode, we press, we selected all of it, all the faces, then we press U and we chose Q projection. And this did uh, automatic UV mapping. Here we just increase the scale of the mapping node of all three axes. And here we are just going to change the color one of the brick texture, which will be 59322A. The second one will be 5C, 4D, 3C. Here we increase the roughness to 1 and we reduce the specular to 0. Here we just press Shift A and we search for mix color and put it in the between. And here we are just changing the color to orange one, 90, 40, 19. We change the blend mode to overlay and then we increase the factor to about 0.85. We move the nodes a bit apart to make some space, then we shift, press Shift A, add a color ramp, Shift A again, we look for noise texture, then we connect both of them, pressing F. We connect the color to the, well, first we increase the mortar smooth of the brick texture, then we connect the color of the color ramp to the mortar of the brick texture. Here we move the black slider to about 0.45 and we bring the white slider to the left to about 0.495 and here we are just going to change some values in the noise texture, scale 3 detail to 10 and the roughness to 0.75. So here we change the color to CA, CA, CA. We save our scene, we are back here and then now we're going to add the bump node, shift A, we tap in bump, then we duplicate the base node from before, brick texture and the two connected ones. We change the first color to AF, 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 the second one to 7C, 7C, 7C. We 
connect the color to the height of the bump node and the normal to the normal of the principal PSDF. Next we duplicate the noise texture and the color ramp. And we are going to connect this one to the mortar size. We can already see some changes on our texture. We redu reduce the scale to minus 4, detail 15 and roughness to 1. We move the black slider a bit to the left, about 0.3. And the gray one to about 0.805. Let me change the color to 60, 60, 60. Here we select both nodes, the color ramp and the noise, shift D to duplicate and then we connect the color of the color ramp to the mortar of the brick texture. We're just changing the scale value to 3, and then the, the sliders of the color ramp, we remove the black slider to about 0.53, we change the gray color to CA, 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 and move the slide a bit to the left about 0.755. We were just looking to make some improvements, just some subtle changes. We close the shader editor and then we just with shift a we created a plane to make our background scaled it up so we extruded the edge in the z then we click it again control b to bevel right click shade smooth here we split the screen again go to the shade editor press on new to create new material we type in bg for background and here we just add the color ramp change the white to a grayish one, connect the color to the base color, then we press, we also move the black slider to the right a bit, then shift A, I'm in occlusion, we select them both, press F to connect, we increase the distance value to 10 of the ambient occlusion, shift D the color ramp, then reset, shift A, noise texture, Select, select both, connect with F, then the color we connect to the specular, the IOR level of the specular, we increase the roughness to 1, move the black slider to about the middle, 0.5, we make the gray of the first color a bit darker, move the black slider a bit more to the left, then we move the plane up in our scene, move the point line a bit more down so it affects more our brick wall move the plane up a bit more and next we're going to place the camera to view with control alt zero we open the panel with n then the camera to view to lock the camera then so here we are creating a keyframe on frame 1 and then on frame 250 we move, we zoom in a little bit and press I again to make a keyframe and so we just achieved a small zoom in animation and that's basically it, thanks for watching. So here we have our final result, thanks a lot for watching until the end and see you in the next video, bye.